Hello, and welcome to this week's special presentation. My name is Patrick France, Senior Instructor here at VectorVest, and this week we'll be taking a look at how to make easy money from the easy riders. This is a strategy that's been around for a long time here at VectorVest, and has proven itself worthy time and time again. It's so easy that even the newest of investors can make money in just minutes a day. But before we jump into the present and see what's going on right now, we first need to take a trip back through time to get an idea of what the easy riders are. So with that, we'll jump right into the program. And now that we're in the VectorVest 7 software, you can see we're jumping all the way back to January 28, 2011, where the easy rider strategy was born. And then from here, if we move up a few years by going to the calendar in the upper left and moving it to 2014 and going to May, 23rd. This is where you can find Dr. Delito's essay titled Valuable Information. And this is where we're going to start for our trip today. As it states, the five day derby winners shown in the views each evening provides valuable information on what's working now. Prior to the creation of VectorVest 7 real time derby, you would have had to run hundreds of quick tests and done a lot of bookkeeping to get this information. I wouldn't have blamed you if you didn't. But the question now becomes, is it worth looking at the five-day derby winners? Well, it certainly would have been when we got the confirmed down signal on Wednesday, March 26, 2014. All five of the five-day derby winners were bearish. With three red lights and an RT kicker bearish, why not use any one of those searches to provide you with some ideas for going short? Remember, you would have had to run hundreds of quick tests to get that information manually. So let's see how they did. Quick test of the top 10 stocks in each search from March 26, 2014 through today's close showed that Nomo Mojo gained 14.27% with 7 winners and 3 losers. Vern's Vultures gained 12.28 with 7 winners, 3 losers. Ballistic New High Short gained 8.65 with 7 winners, 3 losers. Worst Stocks Over 20 gained 27.62% gain with 9 winners and 1 loser. And then Doug's Downer Supercharge gained 6% with 7 winners and 3 losers. Now I'm not saying you should go out and short 10, 20, or 50 stocks every time you see a confirmed down signal and 5 bearish 5 day derby winners, but this is valuable information. For those who don't want to short stocks, consider using the 5 bullish 5 day derby winners when you see a confirmed up signal. That could be even more valuable information. And now at this point, you may be asking yourself, how do the top five derby winners from March 26, 2014 help me today? Well, as the title of this essay hints, every single night you can find in the views the one and five day derby winners. And that can be extremely useful information to give you an upper leg on the competition. Because it's not just showing you what all the analysts are talking about, but it shows you exactly what is working and what's not working, even in a volatile market. So for now, we'll head into the graphs and I'll click on stock in the upper left and select a market timing graph. So as we can see, here's what the market has done over the last year. And especially since the end of last summer, we have seen pretty volatile markets where we've had big swings up and down, but overall, we're still relatively flat here. So I'm just going to left click and zoom in to this most volatile period. And so as Dr. Delito's essay stated, he used to confirm calls. But as we know, we have multiple different calls here at VectorVest, depending on your personal investment style. If you're more aggressive, we can take a look at the primary wave. And as we can see, we have a lot of ups and downs because this is a very aggressive timing system. For me, that's just way too much trading. I don't have all that time to sit there and watch each and every change. So let's go take a look at our most conservative signals, the confirmed calls. Now this has been a great timing system to help us through this volatility, but personally, I like to be a little bit more active with my investments. So. Let's take a look at the DEW. Now for anybody not familiar with the DEW, the D stands for the DPO, E stands for envelopes, and the W stands for the weighted moving average. This is a technical timing system and a nice middle ground between both the primary wave, which is the most aggressive, and the most conservative signals to confirm calls. And as we can see, the first down signal we got after the all time high set back at the end of August last year was on October 1st. So, Keeping in mind the easy rider strategy, let's go take a look at what was in the views on October 1st. So we'll go back to the view section, click on the date box in the upper left, and now we'll move forward in time and take a look at October 1st, 2018. And found right underneath the guidance that we provide for you each and every night 
are the one-day derby winners and the five-day derby winners. And now, for anybody new here at VectorVest and not familiar with the Easy Rider strategy, all we do is take a look at both the one-day and five-day derby winners and see if we have any matches. So here we see they were all bullish on the one day, and here we had a bullish finding firework stocks, but yet we had a down signal. We don't have any bearish searches that match in both the five day and the one day derby winners. So we'll move on to the next day. So we'll move to the second and take a look at them the next night. As we can see here, no bearish matches on the one and five day derby winners. So we simply hold off for the rest of the night, done in a matter of moments, and come back the next evening. So we go to the third, and we take a look. Once again, we're in a down signal, so we're looking for bearish opportunities, not bullish opportunities. Therefore, we're done for the evening. We come back the next night. Now we get done with our day, come home, the data's been updated, and we take a look at what the views are saying. Well, we got a down signal back on the first, and we've been waiting for a great bearish opportunity to arise. Well, today's our day. We have CETO sinkers on both the one day derby winners, also the five day derby winners. So now in a matter of seconds, we've easily identified where we should be getting our stocks from. Because we see not only is this search working on a daily basis, but it's also worked well over the last five trading days. So we have some consistency here too. So let's go take a look at CETO sinkers. To do that, we'll go into the Unisearch tool and over on the left, you have the folders filled with different searches. Today, we're going to sort them alphabetically by clicking on the AZ in the red down arrow at the top. Once we have our stocks listed in alphabetical order, there's a little trick here at VectorVest to find the searches quickly and easily. By hitting the S key on my keyboard, you can see it automatically takes me to all the searches starting with S. So we'll scroll down to find CETO sinkers. And once we've found the search, We'll go ahead and change the date right next to the big green run search button back to October 4th of 2018. And I'll go ahead and run the search. So here you can see the top 10 candidates that came from CETO sinkers the night it showed up in both the five day and the one day derby winners. And now let's see how these stocks did through the remainder of that down situation with the DEW. So to find the end date, we'll go to the graphs back at the top again, and we can see the DEW down ended on the 28th of November. So that'll be our end date. Go back into the Unisearch, simply click on quick test all at the top. And for anybody not familiar with the quick test tool, it can give you a quick performance test from point A to point B. As you can see, our point A was the starting date, the 4th of October, but our end date, we need to change that back to the 28th of November. So we'll move the end date back here, select the 28th, and then rerun the test so that way it updates through our testing period. And now keep in mind, this is a short search. So as we can see, we had nine out of 10 winners and overall the portfolio was up 12.34% in a little shy of two months, whereas the overall market only moved five and a half percent. But on the 28th, we got an up signal. So let's go back to the views and see how it performed through that period. So we'll get out of the quick test, go back to the views, change our date in the upper left to November 28th, 2018. And right below the strategy, we get our one day and five day derby winners. So as we can see right at the top, silver singles bear market beaters in both the one day and the five day winners here. Let's go take a look at our market timing graph. So we can see it was a quick turn on the upside from the 28th of November to the 4th of December. So let's go take a look at silver singles to see how it did through that period. So now we'll move into the unit search at the top, scroll down to silver singles, and change the date we're going to run this search as of the 28th of November. So once we've got our date, we'll go ahead and run the search and get our top 10 candidates based on what the Derby results are telling us. So we'll go ahead and quick test those and change our date once again in the upper left back to the 4th of December. And as we can see here on that quick reversal, we only had two winners and six losers, two stocks break even, and we lost 3.36%. But just because we had one miss doesn't mean we should abandon all hope. 
Let's continue on and see how our systematic plan holds up. So we'll close out of the quick test here at the top, go back to the graphs, and as we can see, December 4th through January 11th. So we'll go take a look at the views and change the date. And now once again, we're looking for a match in both the one day derby winners and the five day derby winners. So here, the only bearish five day derby winner was Ballistic New High Short. And as we can see, it wasn't in the one day derby winners. So we'll move on to the next day. And the fifth, the market was closed. So we'll move to the sixth and say, okay. And here we have the IG plungers in both the one day and the five day derby winners. So December 6th it is. In a matter of moments, we've instantly identified where we're getting our stocks from. So we'll go into the Unisearch tool. Once again, I'll use that little tip of hitting the I key on my keyboard. And now we'll select IG plungers and change our date to December 6, 2018. Now we'll run the search to get our results. And here we'll quick test the top 10 once again. So in about a month's time, we gained a slight gain of 1.4%. Overall, we had seven winners and three losers. That's a 70% win rate. But now we got an up signal with the DEW on the 11th, so we closed out of these, and we head back into the views that night to look for some new candidates to take advantage of that up signal. So we'll go to January 11th in the views, say okay. And looking for our match in the both one day and five day winners, we find bottom fishing and rising industries. So in a matter of seconds, we've instantly identified where we're getting our stocks from. So we'll go into the Unisearch once again and scroll down to bottom fishing in rising industries. And then we'll change our date to the 11th of January and go ahead and identify our top 10 stocks. And before we run this quick test, let's head back to our market timing graph to see when our next down signal was. Our next down signal didn't come until the 22nd of March. So we'll go back to the Unisearch, quick test the top 10. So as you can see, we had seven winners and only three losers. And our overall gain was 22% annualized. That's 115%. Whereas the overall market only did 6.4% or annualized 33%. As you can see here, vastly outperforming the market. And at this point, you have to start asking yourself, what could these kind of results do for my own portfolio? Are you doing this little of work for such big gains? This is where that valuable information starts to pay off for you and why VectorVest can be such a powerful tool in the pocket of any investor. But let's continue on until today. So we'll go back to our graph section. So we can see we had a down signal from the 22nd of March until the 28th of March. So we'll go into the views and we're looking for bearish candidates here. And right out the gate, we can see Oddfellas short both in the one day and in the five day derby winners. Let's go back into the Unisearch tool, go down to the O's for odd fellas short and move our date forward to March 22nd. Say okay and go ahead and find our stocks and we'll quick test them to the 28th. Once again, a very short time, but overall we still made money with this run. We made a gain of 1.6% and a matter of a few days, we'll take it. And then finally, Let's take a look at this most recent run that we've had. So we'll go to the graph section. And as we can see, we got a DEW up on the 28th of March and remain in that situation as of today. So let's head back into the views and take a look at the 28th. And so as we know, the 28th was an up signal. And here we only have two bullish searches and those are both in the one day winners and there's no bullish searches in the five day winners. So we're done for the evening, go about our day the next day, come back into the program the next night. And we see on the 29th, no matches. So once again, we're done for the evening, less than 30 seconds spent managing your portfolio that day. Have a great weekend. And finally, Monday night, we've instantly identified where we're getting our stocks from, rising ETFs, both here in the five day and in the one day. So if we move into the Unisearch tool and then find our best candidates on the 1st of April. And here we can see in our most recent run, we get TECL, CHAU, FNGU, UBOT, TQQ, OILU, a lot of familiar ETFs. Now let's see how they're doing currently. So we'll go ahead and quick test them. And as of right now, as of 1230 in the afternoon on Friday, the time I'm recording this video, 
we have nine winners and only one loser. Overall, we're up over 10%, which annualized equates to about 117% a year, while the market is only up a meager 2.2%. And now to recap our results, we had six total runs throughout the last eight months. Our first run, we made 12.34%. Our second one, we lost a little bit at 3.36%. Our third run, made slightly over a percent. Next, we made 22%. That short downturn that we had, we still managed to pull out a slight gain at 1.64%. And then currently, we're up 10.21. Overall, we're up 44% in the last eight months, while the Vectorvest composite is down just slightly more than a half a percent. So as we can see, the market has been pretty volatile, but really hasn't gone anywhere over the last eight months. But following the valuable information that we cover in the views each and every night, we should be vastly outperforming the market. Also, as a side note, this is assuming that you're going short in a down market, or that you're willing to short in a down market. If that's not your cup of tea, you can still use this strategy like this and the DEW up signals, or whatever market timing signal you prefer. If you just went long throughout the last eight months, you're still up 29% while the market's still down about a half a percent. And now this just goes to show how any one of our subscribers can make easy money with the easy riders in just minutes a night. Once again, my name is Patrick Frank, Senior Instructor here at VectorVest, and thank you for spending your time with me. If you have any questions on anything that we've covered here in this strategy, feel free to give our support a call.